we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign of what's going to happen to these other. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher Stock channel. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now we have Jerome Powell says rates will stay low since the jobs are bleak. And we all know they're the reason why. But guys, they keep pumping and pumping this money. But we know what it's for. Everybody else, the masses, just think, hey, the stocks are going up. But we know this money is going to be used to build the fourth industrial revolution. So yes, these stocks are pumped now. But they're going to start taking this money out in order to build Society 5.0. Now, we also have Janet Yellen. Of course, Janet Yellen is in charge of the Treasury. Used to be the Fed chair. And we know that should be a conflict of interest. But we know that the Fed took over Treasury. Remember, guys, this is not checkers. This is chess. And that was probably the greatest chess move they've ever done. Now, guys, don't forget that when it comes to the Asian markets, remember, I always talk about Asia, the emerging markets, how China is going to rise the dragon and the falling of Babylon. Don't forget this week is their holiday. So, guys, I think their Chinese New Year is on the 12th, but they celebrate it all week. So that's the reason why you saw the stock market look like it was going up and then settle down. So do not forget that. Remember, this economy is now global. Always keep that in mind when you're actually investing. Now, we have Kramer calls on the U.S. to build factories to address ship shortage. Now, guys, when is the last time we heard anybody talking about building factories? We heard Biden talking about made in the USA, but we know the reason why they're doing that. Because the emerging markets are now going to have the money. So the way the economy is built now is going to be reversed. The Americans are going to be working hard while the emerging markets are enjoying themselves, spending money, having fun, eating whatever they want to eat. Now we have Viant IPO says went up 90%, but it didn't. You know, once they run it up, then they let us sell it. I think it went up about 3 or $4. But don't forget, they had purchased MySpace, not a tech company. Also, guys, what I should have went over a couple of days ago is that we have EA Sports buys mobile game Glue for $2.1 billion. So we're starting to see a lot more consolidation. There's going to be a lot more inside of the gaming space. Same thing, guys, when it comes to actual cannabis, and I'm going to talk about that later. We're going to see more consolidation. But let's get over into the actual indicators. We had the VIX up. We had the dollar up, and we had yields down. But guys, like I said, yields are still there. We clearly see the manipulation, but they are letting the long end rise. Now, let's get over into the actual uh, cannabis stocks, guys. And, of course, we had Tilray make a great performance today. Guys, anytime you get a performance like this, you definitely want to think about taking some profits. I'm not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. But it does all depends on how many shares you actually have. Because for the long haul, we know cannabis stocks are going to be big. But it just depends on what you invested in. Remember, I went over Sundial Growers. 
They were about to get knocked off the exchange. They didn't go over the dollar. So I told y'all that was a little shaky. High risk, high reward, and you got rewarded if you did buy it. Same thing goes for IGC. I told you, I went over the Sundial Growers and the actual IGC. I advise you that those were a little shaky, but it's high risk, high reward, like I stated. But guys, when you're looking at Tilray, Canopy Growth, Aurora, like I said, I did a whole, I did a couple videos on the actual cannabis stocks way before they started making a move. You know that. But you definitely, if you have enough shares, you definitely want to take some profits when it moves as high because we know anytime a stock moves 50, 60 percent, it's going to have a correction. Not saying it's not going to go higher. That's not the point. The point is, is that anytime you see a push like that, off a little news, of course, Tilray had the UK news, but that's not big news. It's not regulation news, what we're actually looking for, and we know it's going to go sky high. The reason why all these cannabis stocks are moving, because we know that regulation is coming. Remember, the stock market is priced out a year, six months. That's how they do it. So definitely, they know something is about to happen. That's the reason why these stocks are moving up. Now, all the marijuana stocks are moving up. We know they're all not going to make it. We know a lot of them are either going to get bought out or out of business. But guys, at the end of the day, make sure that you are rewarding yourself. Remember what I always teach, greed kills. Always make sure you take a little profits off the table. Just like I said, all depends how many shares you have in there. We know cannabis stocks are going to keep moving up. But you always have a pullback in any stock. Nothing goes straight up. Nothing goes straight down. Unless there's some absolutely crazy news that comes out. But guys, all I have for you. Don't forget to go to the Crypto Teacher channel. Learn the new economy. Cryptos, blockchain, like, subscribe, spread that channel everywhere. Also, this channel, guys, like, subscribe, spread everywhere. And y'all have a wonderful day. Fed Chair Jerome Powell painted a bleak picture of the labor market, Melissa, and how far the U.S. has to go to get back to where it was. And also connecting that to a very strong case to keeping the Fed's easy monetary policy in place. Powell will say the Fed will maintain a low target rate until employment and inflation near their goals. The Fed will also maintain assets and asset purchases at $120 billion per month. And it will not tighten slowly, solely in response to a strong job market says we are a long way from a strong labor market, and the labor market recovery requires continued policy support. He says the jobless rate understates the job market deterioration with an actual unemployment rate. If you figure in all the people who have left the workforce and other factors, that actual unemployment rate closer to 10 percent, with wide economic disparities having widened further. Permanent job losses, he says, and long-term unemployment have both increased, and policies that end the pandemic quickly are the most important talks about a patiently accommodative monetary policy stance being very important right now. He says maximum employment will require society-wide commitment, he means from businesses, from other parts of government, and from the Fed. Tyler, back to you. All right, I'll pick it up. Steve, let me ask you one question, if I might. Uh, is, is he thus in conflict a little bit with his former colleague at the Fed, the former chair of the Fed, Janet Yellen, who said that she could see, she could see, uh, a full job market, uh, full employment uh, sometime next year? You know, I don't think so. Uh, sometime next year is still some time off, Tyler, I think we could say. Um, and, and it's not like we will just get to uh, uh, full employment without doing anything. <clears throat> I think that when Janet Yellen says what she says, she counts on the Fed being very easy and, and, and open and mm -hmm. wide open on its policies. And I think Janet Yellen also counts on a strong stimulus or relief bill uh, from the uh, Congress and, and the administration. So I think those things are, are implicit in what Janet Yellen is saying. When we get there, if we're heading there, I think then there'll be a time for reckoning and perhaps